Hello everyone, it's James Thoughts Trains here and today we're going to be looking at a custom model that I've made and it's going to be a custom diesel 10. I hope you really enjoyed the video and let's get this review started. So yeah, today we're going to be looking at my custom model that I made and it's diesel 10 as you know. And as you can see here he is, I know it's in the mainline look box but that's because I use a mainline wall shape to customise him. So let's get him in box then, shall we? And as you can see, there's the pinchy box lock, whatever you want to call it. Then obviously later on, I'll show you some more details up close on the detail table. And as you can see, comes in this IV. Right, so there he is without his claw in a minute, because obviously I had to take the claw to get him back, back in his packaging, so... So, as you can see, there he is, and there's the face. So, let's have a bit of history now about Diesel 10 now, then, shall we? So, yeah, as you all know, Diesel 10 is a villain of Thomas and Friends, and he first appeared in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. And as you all know, he's based on a, I think, Class 42 warship. <coughs> Sorry about my cough, guys. I've got a bit of a back cough today. Um, and as far as I know, he's still in Thomas and Friends today, but he's not the evil self as much anymore because obviously he's now doing his C CGI. So let's get him up to, onto the detail table and I'll show you some of the details then. Right, so here we have the detail table, and the first thing. I want to point out is obviously his paintwork. I did it into the gold. Let me show you the gold paint I used. I used that gold paint and it is really good for painting models. So then, as you can see, I've got a silver marker. Well, my girlfriend helped me out with it actually, so credit to her as well. And as you can see, I did most of it, but my girlfriend so I did the rest. And as you can see, the uh, grill effects I've been painting into the black. I know a bit of it's in the gold light, but I might tidy it out somehow. <coughs> Let's have a look at his face. I can't remember what it's called, but my girlfriend told me again what sort of stuff to use for the face. Um. But that's what I use for the, I can't remember what it's called. But, as you can see, there's Pinchy. Now, at the minute, this is a stu 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 I can't think what it's called. Standard Pinchy. I do want to move on one, because obviously, that bit at the end, I got off this toy here. And as you can see, I could just cut it off. So, if anyone knows, any diesel tens but Scott moving pinch let me know in the comments below and then we'll try and get it and so it has a moving pinch and as you can see there's the back so let's get this up on the layout and set test at slow speeds right so we're here at the railway guys and let's test the slow speed just to warn you the slow speed is a bit now, nah. see what I mean? It just jumps into life, doesn't it? But it's actually doing, doing a lot better than But anyway, so it might be a two of first loss me. Anyway, let's see what these returns come coupling up to. So it's coupled up to some ocean wagons. I mean, open wagons like ocean wagons, where did I get it back from? I mean, as well, with it being a mainline locker, it's only 
relying on these wheels here. And it doesn't really stick at the track that much, so. So let's see how diesel turn. Let, let's have diesel turn up one lap on his own and just sort of adjust him when he gets on. So let's see what's the video now, shall we? So, as you can see, there's a couple of ways in what I've done. If you want to see me that way, you know, you're going to go I just pull the clutch. Let's see if I can go back in here, actually, not to give me a good idea. And as you can see, I'm going to show you this camera. And for some reason, I just decided to crash. Hmm. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Of course, it's been a deal with Tendal around as well. Anyway. Um, so a slow speed I will give it a 2 because it, it is a bit nothing slow speeds um, detail because obviously I did the, the detail I'll give it a 4 um, cost I think I paid because obviously I got the locomotive well it was the locomotive first obviously like as I said it was a warship and it was in the moon Colour and I paid £34.95p and 95, and 95 for this. So for that I'm I'm not really arguing about that. But obviously you can see what I saw I mean with the back wheel. But if you want to do like any more any more customs then I will do because I'm thinking about doing a lot more customs in the future. Um, I mean, which Christmas do I think I'll go on here today? So, yeah guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video today, and um, please subscribe to the channel, and please give this video a like and hit the like button, and um, I hope you have a nice day, and um, I'll see you next time, whatever I'm doing next, so I'll see you later, everyone, bye.